and anything I want to be is already inside of me. Hello, beautiful beings. <laughs> I managed to get the ring lights right over my eyes and it looks like a TikTok effect. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I am not feeling that well, but I still wanna get some stuff done for the business. Speaking of, what business vlog is this? It's been a while. I have another one where I, orga where I organized my, um, Okay, thank you. So yeah, I had a vlog where I was reorganizing my inventory. So I think I'll probably put that before there. So if it is up before this, there it is. Um, but today I am kind of just doing editing, inventory, like I said, I'm not feeling that well. So today I'm going to be basically just fasting from solid foods. I'm just gonna be having lots of smoothies and um, soups and stuff, noodles, things that aren't too harsh on my throat, but is gonna really be warm and soothe it, hopefully. So I figured I'd just take you guys along for the ride today and probably the rest of this week. So let's get into it. Okay, <laughs> I need to decide what I want little wristbands, 2,500 yen. Uh, Tower of Terror is at 70, and Tower of Terror is at 45. So a cute little wristband with Chando on it. videos that I want to go ahead and post this week but I have to edit them first so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of how I edit TikToks on my PC on DaVinci Resolve Pro so I've been editing now for about the last hour and it is finally time for me to break my fast at 11 a.m. and normally I break my fast with a smoothie but my throat is killing me so I think I'm gonna start it with a uh, warm soup and later on in the day, I'll have a smoothie as a snack. Got myself a nice cup of tea and it's so nice and warm. Like it's just, oh. I figured I'd take some time now to talk to you guys about a couple of things that have been happening in my life. I can already feel my stomach turning at being a, so authentic and intimate, but um, I really want to showcase the ups and downs of being a business owner. When I began and I left my shitty ass job at Whole Foods that I fucking hated, literally to the point where I was crying all the time, my body was hurting more and more and more, and I just was infuriated with the staff there. Um, not the people who were like my level, they were cool, but like the higher ups, I was just beyond annoyed with them. When I left that job and I decided to go full time on my Kindle business and creating content, I honestly thought that if I just worked really hard, put out a bunch of content, that things would work out and I'd get a bunch of money and I wouldn't have to, um, I would just be able to go full time on the Brown Yogi. And things have not really turned out like that. There's been some highs and there's been some lows. And the past couple of months, uh, sales have just been decreasing and decreasing to the point where like, I'm just not able to pay for anything solely off of the profit from the business, which is rather unfortunate. And I've had to make the very difficult decision of getting a part-time job. 
Um, I'm currently looking for one and this weekend on Saturday I have an interview so fingers crossed it goes well because some extra income would be really great because I'd be able to not only have my bills paid and you know eat um, but it would mean more money for expanding the business and also just having luxuries in life like I'm a Taurus I love 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 to have nice things and for the past year I've really been super frugal and not given myself those things because I've been solely focused on expanding my business and it's been amazing. I've gotten so many products, uh, I've got to experiment a lot, I've got to really dive deep into candle making in a way that I never had before. But making money to live is also important. And I'm hoping that I can get some money to, you know, like I said, reinvest back in the business, have bills paid and such, and then go back full time once I'm making more of a profit. Um, but who knows, maybe I'm able to really well balance um, having a part time job and also working on my business. If that's the case, and I can make a good amount of money doing both and not be burnt out, which is really the thing that I do not want to happen at all. That would be super nice. <laughs> maybe your business is gonna have amazing luck and you leave, you go full time and things just work out. Maybe you're someone who you keep doing it on the side until it gets to the point where you can do it full time. Maybe you're someone who has multiple streams of income and that's working awesome for you. I am still trying to figure out what that path is going to be for me. Honestly, I'm only 24, I'm very young and one of my favorite things about myself is that I will not give up. I'm not gonna give up. The brown yogi has been my baby for years and no one can make me give up on my dreams unless I choose to. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to feel like a failure. That's probably one of my biggest fears is feeling like a failure. But the one thing that keeps me going regardless of the fear of uh, failing is that I want to be able to say that I gave my dreams a chance. That's what I want to be able to say more than anything. So I don't know what the future will hold, but I certainly hope that I continue to be resilient, patient, um, finding balance, and uh, trying my best. Hey guys, so last night I was trying to do some candles. Fortunately, I realized that I didn't have enough sprinkles. So we got some today and I'm gonna go ahead and make some of the birthday cake candles. And these are the sprinkles I like to use, but we got some new ones to test these out right now. I'm not gonna worry too much about testing those new sprinkles right away because we only have about 14 days left to the pop-up shop. So it's time to kind of crunch. It's crunch time, if you will. Thankfully, I already have the um, wax already weighed out. And I already have my two candles wicked here. And the fragrance oil is also already wicked. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the process of adhering these sprinkles to the um, candles. And we're going to go ahead and pour them. All right, so I went ahead and made four of the birthday cake candles. I am currently melting an old jar. That's just a bunch of leftover wax to make a Frankenstein candle. But when it is all emptied out, it looks like this beautiful petal uh, jar. This also needs to get cleaned, but these are going to be for the Japanese cherry blossom candles. I'd like to try to make those two today as well. I've got my, uh, oh my my uh <laughs> beef in the streets anyway i've got the two cats in the living room with me 
I am currently watching Kitchen Nightmares. I'm usually watching Kitchen Nightmares, Forensic Files, or like YouTube videos or listening to music. And um, yeah, I just have it on mute, so no copyright. But uh, it's been a good day so far. I'm still a little congested, um, but it, it's, it's not too bad. <coughs> um, I have an interview tomorrow at 2.30 and we also have a family cookout that we'll be going to that's not gonna be very far from the place I'm being interviewed. So honestly, probably gonna like stop at the <laughs> stop at the cookout for a little bit, go to the interview and come back because it's only supposed to be about 15 minutes. Um, fingers crossed, wish me luck so that I can hopefully get a good paying part-time job and uh, continue to invest in my future and my business. What else? Yeah, I'm just excited for the pop-up shop. Um, in addition to, actually, I don't even think I mentioned this, but this is like the first pop-up shop I've ever attended. Um, I was supposed to go to a pop-up shop earlier this year, I think, in Pittsburgh, but unfortunately things did not pan out and I had to remove myself from the um, event because I was like, I'm not gonna jeopardize my business. So this is going to be the first pop-up shop I've ever been to. So I'm really excited. And then if I get this job, I'm going to probably tell them that I can start that week. So like three major things happening in the same week in September. It's a little bit like, ooh. Um, but I'm not like too, too nervous because honestly, I, I, do, I have a lot of confidence in myself. And I have faith in myself that it's going to be a really great um, week. cute and onyx is just being cute as always <laughs> so cute but yeah i look forward to um new things <laughs> um i definitely feel like with all of these like new changes it's gonna be really essential to do daily self-care and i still want to be able to manage um watching my calories and working out and stuff um i really hope that i can buy myself an apple watch soon so i can actually keep track of everything and also i find that when i'm working outside of the home i lose a lot of weight so that'll be interesting it'll probably honestly help my weight loss journey um because I'm gonna be moving around a lot more than if I'm staying at home on a desk all day. Even though I do use the standing desk quite a bit, the reality is I spend a lot of my day sitting down when I work from home. So, yeah. Grand Rising, it is a Monday, the start of a new week. I just did some inventory and I'm just kind of wrapping my head around uh, what I wanna do today. It's quite a long list. Um, but I'm excited to tackle them. I'm hungry AF, but I still have an hour until uh, my fast is up. So I'm going to try to get stuff done. Um, I'm not really quite sure what I want to do first. So my list today was to count the manifestation candles I've made, um, count the eight ounce empty eight ounce jars I have left, pour cupcake bases, pour four ounce candles, pour eight ounce candles, make cupcake embeds, refill the bath uh, mix pouches so they're all the same because I noticed that some of them feel heavier than the others. Redo crystal sprays because I've learned since making them that uh, some of the crystal chips I used uh, were actually toxic. So they become toxic when they enter water. So I want to go ahead and just redo those completely. I have some that are with the new formula, so those are ready to go. But I want to redo the old ones. 
Uh, I want to melt some tea lights so I can pour in my scents. Hello! And finally, I want to wick some tea lights and possibly make some. Hi, bubby. Mm. Hello. Mwah. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. Uh, the table is looking quite a mess. So I'm going to add to the list to just start organizing stuff and get some of the done candles uh, into boxes. And then I'm going to put them on my shelf because the entire hutch is full. Like it is super full. So I want to go ahead and put some candles away so I can make space for candles that have yet to be made. So let's get on with it, y'all. Today I actually have my orientation for my new job. Oh my gosh, for once my uh, my septum's not to the side. But I didn't get to finish all of the things on my to-do list yesterday. So I'm going to be going ahead and working on that again today. And just trying to get some stuff done uh, before I have my orientation today at like 6. Today's to-do list is to finish this new line that I came up with on the fly yesterday, but it's going to be super simple. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish that today. I want to recalibrate the pouches and make sure they're all the same um, size. I want to go ahead and check through all of my cereal embeds and make sure that those um, in the Oreo embeds and make sure that I have enough to do the cupcakes. I do believe I'm going to have to do the Oreo ones. I do think I'm gonna have to do the Oreo ones, but I think I might be good in terms of the cereal. If I need to, I'll go ahead and pour some embeds. I wanna do the crystal sprays today. And I think that's all I have in terms of the um, to-do list. If I get everything done, I also wanna post content too. Um, I think I still have some videos made so if i have some videos made i will go ahead and post them hi if not i'll just find something else to do so let's get to it so after scrubbing my life away <laughs> and cleaning up these uh jars with some rubbing alcohol and alcohol wipes these are now ready we've got the uh simple clean and tidy i'm super excited um and i think they're gonna be a real hit at the pop-up shop one thing i've noticed with myself and other candle makers we all tend to have our own type of style and i usually tend to gravitate towards like super colorful spiritual witchy candles but i also really like food candles and i also recognize that the market has a lot of people who really like simple plain candles that can go with any type of um decor especially like minimalist decor i've seen lots of um home decorators like decorate um spaces with just like a white candle 
um, or like an amber candle. And although maybe those aren't my favorite ones, I just want to try out the market and see if people will like them. And I think having a really simple but beautiful and elegant design and really having lots of photos that complement that could really make this line be very, very successful. And honestly, they're so easy to make, they're so simple to make, and they smell fantastic. So I'm really hopeful that a lot of people like it. But I have to go to the store later and get some more rubbing alcohol and sandpaper because I do recycle wee jars, which is what you see right here. These are wee jars and they are absolutely gorgeous. And a lot of people do recycle and repurpose them. Um, I had never heard of anybody doing it. I just always thought they looked really good and they were absolutely perfect for the four ounce candle jars. So I just roll with it um, and people seem to really like them. So the only downside about that is that I have to like really, really clean and sanitize them. It's not like when you just get jars from a candle or a jar store, you know, like they're already clean. I'm just going to sanitize them and make sure, you know, ain't nothing on there. But with these, like I have to like scrub the label off and make sure that none of that sticky layer, sticky residue is on there and that then they're ready to go. So that's why I need to go to the store and get some more sandpaper and rubbing alcohol because that's just what cleans it off the best. So then after I like clean it off, you know, I pour it in and then they get one more final um, rubbing alcohol wipe on them just to make sure that there's nothing on there and that they look absolutely chef kiss perfect. can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah One that you call and you talk to Girl I'll share my world with you If you gonna waste your time a bunch of candles for his mom if you guys watch the Baltimore vlog he's the one in there and I started to get ready to pack his order when I realized that I do not have any of those candle labels printed so I'm actually gonna go back to the computer room and start working on those and I think what I'm gonna do is just start to get every candle label ready because if I'm already gonna be there I might as well do it um, I was just thinking to myself the other day that I need to go ahead and get all of that done um, and get those candles ready. But I had just thought in my head like, oh, you know, I'm not ready with pouring everything. So once I'm finished with that, I can start to work on it. But yeah, I, he's asked me to ship them early um, because his mom's birthday is coming up soon. So he wants to try to have the candles there before then. And honestly, for him, he they wouldn't really care if it's not labeled, but I just figured that like, I have to do labels anyway, I might as well do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do that.
So for the past hour and 15 minutes, I have been scouring through every single purchase I have made under the Brown Yogi for any of the products that um, I make. So fragrance oil, uh, jars, wicks, all of those purchases, I have been going through all of them, categorizing them and calculating how much each candle and melt um how much it costs to make that and then from those cost of production prices i will then use those to calculate how much i want to set how much i want to price every item at the pop-up shop now this should have been done along the way honestly but as someone who didn't really know i kind of just threw myself into the throes of owning a business these are things that i'm learning along the way and you can learn it too <laughs> you can learn from me so definitely categorize your purchases and keep it somewhere where you can easily access it which i am doing now that's why this took so long because i had to go through literally a year and a half's worth of purchases get it somewhere that i can you know use it later and um have these prices on hand um so yeah i just have a simple um google sheet with like all of the products on the left hand and this is also kind of what i was using to um count how much i needed to make of everything and how much i have done and the total amount of products that i'm going to be bringing to the uh pop-up shop so that yeah basically i can count how much it costs to make each item figure out the price for each item and then set a goal my goal is obviously to sell every single product but by having the price down i can also calculate an estimation of how much money i would make if i sold out um the bare minimum is to sell at least $25 worth of things because it was a $25 vendor fee, which is pretty low considering I've seen people pay like $200 for some events. I've seen people pay $75 for some events, um, but this one was just $25. So my goal is to make at least $25. Hopefully I make like $200, so that way my net profit would be $175. That would be really nice, but yeah. Hey guys, so it is Friday. This is the weekend before the pop-up shop, and I still have quite a bit of things to do, uh, but I am done with the creating portion. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off the craft table, start working on um, finishing touches to the products, and then... If I am still working, I'm going to go ahead and start printing stuff for the display of the pop-up shop table. I drank an energy drink, so I'm like really wanting to get a lot of stuff done tonight and uh, definitely tomorrow as well. But I want to kind of reward myself tomorrow night and go out for some drinks with my boyfriend, so... I don't usually do that, <laughs> but I feel like between starting a new job, getting all this stuff ready for the pop-up shop, and um, beginning this new chapter where I'm going to be balancing working for myself and working for another person, I want to make sure that I just give myself props and give myself some self-care and put on some makeup and go eat some good food and have some good drinks. So yeah, I'm excited for the weekend.
emotional damage. did a whole bunch of stuff yesterday and now i have to work for the next three days and then on sunday which is four days from now i am going to be at the pop-up shop no god please no i miss just being able to do whatever i wanted all day but i do want extra money and there's a lot of big ticket items that I need to buy. So until I have those things purchased and a way to continue to be able to pay my bills and sustain myself and my business, I'm going to have to keep working this part time. So I'm drinking an energy drink. Oh, I have two kitties with me, my energy drink. And we're going to do our best to get through these next couple of days without losing my mind. And also, after Sunday, I'll have a three-day weekend before I go back to work. So, No, ma'am, I'm afraid that's not allowed. Help me, I'm poor. It is Saturday, and I am tired and slightly congested. I have to work today from 3.30 to 10.30. And then, uh, tomorrow is the pop-up shop. So, I'm trying to figure out how I want to finish everything. I'm honestly probably going to have to have my boyfriend do some stuff for me while I am um, at work. Just because I don't want to try to, um, I don't want to saddle myself with doing everything tomorrow. But at the same time, I haven't really given myself <coughs> <coughs> the chance to um, rest. On the bright side, I made like almost $200 last night, so <laughs> I haven't been updating the vlog very much this past week because I've just been really busy with work, but um, I had been fasting from TV since yesterday, so my plan is to not watch any TV shows or YouTube videos or anything um, <coughs> until after the pop-up shop, which is six o'clock tomorrow. And I've been fasting since uh, Thursday night. And the reason being was I wanted to just show myself my dedication to bettering myself. So I said, I was like, I'll read a bunch of books. <coughs> I'll listen to music occasionally. But aside from that, I just want to focus on the pop-up shop, bettering myself, and just relaxing. And I, my thought process was, if I could take two and a half days and fast from TV in exchange for making a lot of money 
and bettering myself and gaining new experiences through the pop-up shop, that is an awesome win-win for me. So that was kind of like my sacrifice or my trade-off was less time on my phone, on YouTube, all those things, and more time in books because um, I may have mentioned before my goal is to read three books by the end of this year. And that's just because three books is absolutely doable for me. I didn't want to do something like 20 books and not even read two. So for me, three books by the end of this year, with it being the end of September right now, <clears throat> I think that's doable. So yeah, I'm going to see what else I get done today. Or maybe I don't get anything done. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure these clips kind of are making me look a little delirious. And the truth is, um, yes, yes. <sighs> when I look at my ancestors and I see myself and I think about the woman who I'll be in six months from now, who, by the way, is already here because time is an illusion. And anything I want to be is already inside of me, but... When I think of how I want to present myself and how I want to be in six months from now, I feel grateful that I'm doing the steps that I am and proud of myself for trying my best to learn the balance between rest and relaxation and progression. Because honestly, progress does include rest. So I have started to choose which uh, products are going to be on display. And now that I have uh, the candles pretty much chosen, uh, I have some bath bombs that I need to choose as well. But all the bath bombs are going to get uh, shrunk wrap because I don't think it's as important for people to smell these bath bombs as it is for them to remain untouched from people like i don't want people's oils and stuff and dirty hands touching it so i'd much rather have the bath bombs shrunk wrap and then keep these display items open as for the cupcake melts i don't know what i'm gonna do with that to be honest i'm thinking i might at least have one open and unshrunk wrap or I might keep all of them shrunk wrap and just tell people to smell the cereal candle. I don't know. I think because it gets melted, it's not something that you use on your, like, body. Um, there shouldn't be as much issue with people touching it, but I kind of just, I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I feel like I'm thinking of, like, the worst. <laughs> like, I don't want people's dirty-ass hands touching my products and then another person coming and trying to buy them so that's why I'm kind of like uh should I wrap them should I not but now that I have some of the idea of what candles I'm gonna be and bath bombs and stuff I'm gonna be putting out I can start to figure out how I want to set up this table for sure next time I'm gonna have to do the six foot long instead of the smaller one because I need way more real estate I did not realize I had so much stuff which is a good thing
beautiful beings, it is finally here, the day of the pop-up shop. I just went ahead and made our chalkboard and it doesn't have any of our prices like I had originally wanted to. That was my thought process. But because we don't have a banner yet, our chalkboard is going to be essentially our banner. And then I have some printed pieces of paper that are going to have the prices. Not exactly ideal because we want to be able to have the prices displayed very brightly and uh, largely, but um, oh, we're just going <laughs> to... We're trying our best.